everyone. I hope you're still enjoying time back at school. Uh, I know there's the funny illnesses going around and it's a bit worrying, but I'm sure you're all fine. And uh, what, what are you looking forward to? Everyone seems to be talking about anything apart from what we're looking forward to. So uh, I was thinking as I went round the supermarket the other day, what, what am I looking forward to? And I thought, well, Christmas isn't bad. It's a little way away, but it'll be here so quickly. And um, here is my little reminder that Christmas isn't far away. I thought, well, I'd better buy one. Do you know what it is? I bet you do, really. Um, it's an Advent calendar. And as you know, Advent starts on four Sundays before Christmas Day. And it's the time when we look forward to the coming of Jesus as a baby into our world, to live like one of us, to show us how to live, to show us how much God loves us and to show how much his love uh, meant that he would live and die and as one of us. And then, of course, he rose again. He came alive again. So I thought an Advent calendar really ought to be a bit special. You could just have a bit of chocolate, but I thought I'll try some chocolate with a difference. So can you see, here we are, I hope you can read that, it says divine chocolate. Actually, this is quite special. If you see divine chocolate in the shops, it doesn't mean it's come from heaven, although some people think it tastes like it comes from heaven and it's very, very nice. But actually, the people who founded the company and make the chocolate said, we want chocolate to be part of the enjoyable way of following Jesus as well. So they called it divine. It certainly is. I love it. And can you see it says deliciously rich? This is dark chocolate. Do you like dark chocolate or milk? There's something you can think about. I love dark chocolate. The darker the better. And it says here, can you see this is 70% chocolate. So there isn't much milk in it at all. When you first taste it, it's a bit, might feel a bit bitter, but actually you soon get used to it. It's got a lovely creamy taste and texture. And this is very special chocolate. It's not just chocolate um, for me to enjoy and throw away. There are lots of good things about it. Um, and when you look at it, um, there are lots of advent windows. Can you see them all here? There we are. And each of them tells part of the story of Jesus coming into our world. But the people who make this aren't just you know, very keen that we know the story of Jesus coming as a baby. They want us to follow Jesus and to be good in the way we live. So what I love about this chocolate, I don't know if you can see, the first thing is that it's got a special label on it. That means the people who've grown the cocoa beans, there we are, can you see it says fair trade, the people who've grown it are being paid properly for the work they do. And that's really important because some of them, many of them actually have children and their children can't go to school unless they receive uh, the proper money for the things that they grow. And those children have to pay for their schooling or their parents do. So it's very important when you look at uh, buying chocolate and chocolate presents for other people. I hope you're going to buy some presents as well. Look for that little symbol because it says it's fairly traded. And that really means that the people who make it are paid properly. And uh, this is um, quite interesting, as you've probably seen Sir David Attenborough. And it says on here, uh, it it celebrates the wonders of the world and the things we can do to look after it, whether riding a bike, recycling rubbish or using renewable energy. And you can read all about it here. But every window has something behind it about the world we live in, how we can look after it better and make it a better place for everybody to live in, wherever they are, whatever they have or don't have. And if you look carefully at down at the bottom here, it also tells you 
that everything in this can be recycled. You don't have to waste anything in this advent calendar. It can all be recycled, which I think is absolutely terrific. And it tells us all about um, the environment. So this is this is some of the things that they say about choosing chocolate, because you'll all enjoy chocolate at Christmas, I'm sure. It says, <clears throat> choose chocolate that doesn't contain palm oil because so many trees are chopped down to make palm oil and then beautiful animals like the orangutan and others, they live in palm trees. And if there aren't enough palm trees, they've got nowhere to live. So really important to make sure it doesn't contain palm oil. And uh, you know that um, there's a symbol on here which says that the cardboard and everything in this has been grown sustainably. You can recycle it all. People are paid properly for doing the work. And um, actually, it means that when, when they, people trade and do business, that's been done in a sustainable way, too. And um, you can go and enjoy trees as well. It says get outside and enjoy the trees as part of your balanced lifestyle. So you've got lots and lots of things here that you can find out about the world. You can enjoy your piece of dark chocolate. And you know that this is good chocolate for everyone. So as you get nearer Christmas, make sure when you're thinking about chocolate that you choose chocolate that's good for everybody. Not just tasty, but actually grown well, people have paid well, and it helps us to look after our world. So I'm gonna hold it here and just say a little, a little prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for our beautiful world that you give us. Thank you for all of the things that we can do to make it a better place for everyone to live in. Please help us as we come near to Christmas to think carefully about the things that we buy and do so that not only can we enjoy Christmas and all the fun and all the lovely food, but also we can make sure that everybody in our world and everything is well looked after. Amen.